use. Do computers also have memory like humans? Can they remember the instructions we give them? I am sure they can remember, but I do not know how. Let us ask the teacher. Dear kids, today I will talk about the computer memory. We learned about IPO cycle in the previous videos. Besides the input process and output, the computer also stores the data and instructions for later use. The devices on which a computer stores the data or information are known as storage devices or computer memory. Let us learn about different types of computer memory. Most computers have two types of memory. Primary memory or main memory and secondary memory or auxiliary memory. The key differences between primary memory and secondary memory are primary memory is directly accessible by the CPU whereas secondary memory is not. Primary memory is generally volatile and holds data for short periods of time. Secondary memory is a non-volatile and holds data until it is deleted or overwritten. Primary memory is internal or non-removable, whereas secondary memory is external, detachable and portable. Examples of primary memory are RAM, ROM and cache. Examples of secondary memory are hard disk, CD, DVD, pen drive, etc. Let us learn about primary memory now. Primary memory is one of the following types. RAM, ROM and cache memory. RAM stands for random access memory. RAM is primary memory that allows information to be stored and retrieved on a computer. Accessing data from RAM is very fast and the data is accessed randomly instead of sequentially like it is on a CD or hard drive. RAM is a volatile memory and requires power to keep the data accessible. If the computer is turned off, all the data contained in RAM is lost. The RAM size ranges from 1 GB to 128 GB. When the computer boots, parts of the operating system and drivers from the hard drive are loaded into the RAM, which allows the CPU to process instructions faster and speed up the boot process. After the operating system is loaded, programs we open like MS Word, browser, etc. are also loaded into RAM. RAM is of two types. DRAM or Dynamic Random Access Memory and SRAM or Static Random Access Memory. DRAM is used in personal computers and workstations. SRAM is used in cache and video card memory. DRAM is slower than SRAM. DRAM is less expensive than SRAM. DRAM has more storage capacity than SRAM. ROM ROM stands for read-only memory. As the name suggests, ROM can only be read by the processor. It is either modified with extreme difficulty or not at all. ROM is non-volatile, that is, it retains its data even when power is switched off. Data to be stored into ROM is written during the manufacturing phase itself. It contains data that does not need to be altered, like booting sequence of a computer 
or algorithmic tables for mathematical applications. Pre-ROM, EPROM and EEPROM are types of ROM. Cache memory is a small piece of high-speed, volatile memory available to the processor for fast processing. The most recently accessed data is stored in the cache memory. Whenever the processor needs any piece of data or instructions, it checks the cache first. If it is unavailable there, then the primary memory is accessed. If it is unavailable in the primary memory, then finally, secondary memory is accessed. The process of keeping some data and instructions in cache memory for faster access is called caching. Finding data or instruction in cache is called cache hit. Here is a chart showing the types of primary memory. Now it is time to revise. Which memory is directly accessed by a processor or computer? Primary memory is the memory that a computer accesses fast or directly. What does RAM stand for? RAM stands for Random Access Memory. What is a small piece of high-speed volatile memory available to the processor for fast processing? Cache memory is a high-speed volatile memory available to the processor for fast processing. What does ROM stand for? ROM stands for Read-Only Memory. What is a volatile memory? Volatile memory is a type of storage whose contents are erased when the system's power is turned off or interrupted. Which of these memories is volatile? RAM or ROM? RAM is volatile. For more such interesting videos, Please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning.